each battle a chance to grow. to grow. Okay. Hey, hey everybody. Sorry. I have been trying to make sure I figure out how to do the the audio without messing up the rest of the stream. It's me, Vance, by the way. I am running the stream for right now while Warchie uh, plays. Can anyone in the chat hear me? That's what I'm curious. Hopefully you guys can. I apologize. All right, cool. That's that's what matters. I apologize. I'm running the stream for right now while we're here goes ahead and he plays brackets. You guys can't hear me. But then you guys know I'm speaking. Anyways, yeah, Warchief wanted to play today, so I decided uh, I'll go ahead and do what Team Spooky does. Uh, and definitely take care of that, so I'm calm. Honestly, look, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I know I'm late to the game right now because we already played game one. Uh, Violet, in my opinion, high tier. Probably a high tier character. Uh, the character has a lot of great spacing. Tipper's really, really good. I think the character has what I feel what I would want in Marth, an actual functioning Tipper. But uh, what Violet doesn't have is really great frame data, but to make up for that is like a really great spacing game. So as long as Warchief is just playing to that strength, as we kind of see here, like it's, he's going to do it really well. 
Down tilt up air is really, really good too. Honestly, it's like a kill confirm. Rapid jab is really, really decent too. Like having that much damage, having that much rage. I don't think Wild is mid tier. I think it's like really, really high tier. But like, I think it's. What, what, what happens with a lot of the DLC characters is a lot of people just want. Um, what. Violet doesn't really have any moves she can spam, per se, but like. Or, but like, Nair is really good. The landing hitbox is very similar to like. Falco Fair, where Falco Fair, if you fast fall it, it has that seventh hitbox. But, you know, Violet always just has that landing hitbox as long as you, like, fast fall. It doesn't auto cancel, but, like, it, it, to supplement the fact that it doesn't auto cancel, it does really well. It's really bad on shield. Like, frame, I think it's like frame, uh, it's like, uh, like minus nine on shield, which isn't that great, but it's pretty solid. That's just my opinion, man. I don't want you guys to think I'm, I'm like, oh yeah. Best thing's Violet is high tier. That's terrible. Violet is a mid tier. Violet is a low tier. Violet is a top tier. Whatever. That's just my opinion, man. I just see the character strengths. But also, like, you, it's a character you have to put in work with. You can't. It's not like Joker, where, like, you kind of get really good frame beta, really good whip punishing, but you have Arsen to kind of back you up. I think Violet isn't the worst DLC, but. Violet's pretty good. Look at that Timber back here. Look at that. Delicious. At the left side of the platform, that yeah, character's gone. I see what I'm saying? Look at the landing hitbox. You have to kind of hold your shield an extra second, but the shield pressure you can take from Bottle is ridiculous too as well. Side special is really good as well. Like, that kill is ridiculous the early is a really good edge card. Plus, you can still come back on the stage with up special afterwards. Like, that's ridiculous. That's really good damage. Shout out to Warchief winning out this game.